Hi everyone, in this video I'll be walking you through what max threads per hotkey is and show you some examples to help you understand how this works. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Alright, so according to the official documentation of Auto hot key, the max threads per hot key sets the maximum number of simultaneous threads per hot key or hot string, and this is the syntax you use. But this didn't really make sense to me straight away. But if you read the remarks section where it goes, this setting is used to control how many instances of a given hot key or hot string. Subroutines are allowed to exist simultaneously. For example, if a hotkey has a max of one and it is pressed again while its subroutine is already running, the press will be ignored. This is helpful to prevent accidental double press. Now, this explanation is a little bit more helpful, though I wanted to see some examples. So I went down to the examples part and realized that there's basically no examples. So I was playing around with it and ended up creating some examples, one of which may also be useful in real life. So so uh, max thread per hotkey, how it works is it, so it creates multiple threads per hotkey if you set it to a number higher than one. Now, for example, so if you have numpad dot hotkey that brings up the message box that says hi and press that hotkey, then you're going to get the message box, right? But while the message box is showing up on your screen, if you press the numpad dot or the hotkey again, then not, nothing's going to happen. And that's because this message box is running. That means the hotkey is still running. So only when I press the OK button to get out, I can bring up the message box again, right? But if you set this to, if you set the max threads per hotkey to say two, What's going to happen is when you bring once you bring up the message box and press the hotkey again, you're going to be able to create two message boxes. You're going to have two instances of the hotkey running. Now, you can also bring it up to say five and create up to one, two, three, four, five message boxes like that using the same hotkey, even though the previous message box is still open. Now. If I exit it out of say three of them and then press the hotkey again, so the previous threads have closed and we have reopened them, right? So let me just get out. So how is this ever gonna be useful in real life? Now, I was trying to figure out how to create a loop, an infinite loop, which I can toggle on and off by a single hotkey. Now, so I got up to creating the loop by doing this. So I created, um, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and create some variables and create a simple loop that shows me a tooltip and let me just increase the number of i by one each each iteration of the loop and I'm going to show that value in a tooltip and sleep for 10 seconds and then I'm going to put a stopper so j right now is zero but I'm going to call it uh, that if j is one, then break out of the loop. So somewhere down here, I'm gonna create a hotkey, numpad dot, and then go if j is zero, which is the case, uh, I'm gonna set it to j equals one, right? Else, I'm going to go to this loop. So I'm gonna have to create a label. I'll call it my loop go to my loop. So in theory, and also I have to move this into under the label. And that's because every time I start the my loop, I want J to be zero, because otherwise if this is set to one, because I pressed the hotkey, um, it's just gonna break out of the loop immediately. Now, so what I thought was that if I ran this script, now, so the tooltip number is going up, right? And then if I press the numpad dot, J is going to be set to one, which means it's this is going to break out of the loop. So the tooltip is going to stop showing uh, the increase in the number, right? And then if I press the numpad dot again, it will go into my loop, right? Because J is right now one and the loop has stopped. So if I press the hotkey again, it should go back into the loop, which it did, but then when I press the numpad dot again, I thought because J is set to zero, it's going to be set 
back to one and then the loop is going to break but it didn't no matter how many times i pressed the numpad dot the hotkey it didn't stop and that's because the previous instance of the hotkey is still running it's still stuck here where it's gone in in here and only when it it stops it will come back here and put a return and that instance of thread that hotkey thread will be freed up so i can run the hotkey again now to avoid this you set the max threads per hotkey to two right and once i do this i should be able to pause the tooltip by pressing it once and then rerun it by pressing it another time and then if i press again i should be able to stop it like that you see so increase stop toggle on toggle off toggle on and toggle off on off on off right so that's how you can utilize this max threads per hotkey if you're using the same hotkey to toggle on and off a loop like this so this is it for today's video thanks for watching and i will see you next time